don't, don't be fooled by the internet. It's cool to get on the computer, but don't let the computer get on you. It's cool to use the computer. Don't let the computer use you. You all saw the Matrix. There's a war going on, the battlefields in the mind. The prize is the soul. Yo, 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 how you doing? <laughs> what how the hell is going on out here? All right, we back again, y'all. What's going on? All right, How you second doing? story gang, let's get it. How your mama doing? Y'all good? Shout out to y'all, man. What's up? What's up? What's going on, man? All right, we got some. We got some more uh, Diddy uh, information, um, updates. Uh, Want to discuss uh, Jaguar? Um, Vanel. Yeah, come on in, y'all. We're gonna let give him time to send this uh these notifications out real quick. Just give us a minute and then we're gonna get started. Make sure y'all hit that yeah, like yeah, button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the second shift curry game. Shout Thanks for showing up. up. What up, what up, what's up? What's going on? You you, you, you. all right. Oh, shoot. Hold on, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Hit that like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. We're going to go ahead and get into this. What's good, y'all? Get some shout outs real quick. What's going on? Shout out to all the day one subscribers, the new subscribers. Shout out to y'all that's tuning in from work. Shout out to y'all that's tuning in on your way home from work. Shout out to y'all right. that's, that's at home tuning in. What's up, Melanie? Got Melanie Jones in here. Make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel. I mean, her channel growing over there, putting work in, putting that work in. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this mysterious video, man. Y'all, you know, y'all be sending stuff. We be coming across stuff online. Y'all be sending us a lot of stuff to talk about and all that. So this Biggie video resurfaced of him and Diddy, man. That joint look kind of mm. R.I.P. Biggie, though, because that right. Biggie's still my favorite. Favorite number one MC, so rest in peace to Big still. But this John would look kind of sus. Yeah, that this John, this video definitely looks sus. I, I, I think it's the energy Diddy be giving off the people. Bro. I don't it, know, fam. It's sheesh. I think he be. I think he be making people. I don't know, bro. Nah, you ain't got to cry, Melanie. We ain't gonna go in on Big. We just gonna play the video. Yeah, I mean, we ain't gonna go in too much, but it did kind of look crazy though. Yeah, I mean, I ain't putting that jacket on Biggie though. I ain't putting that, I ain't putting that homo uh jacket on. Hey, y'all can watch the video, y'all. Yeah, I ain't, put that on, I ain't gonna put that on his jacket, man. All right, of course, we heard rumors about Diddy over the years, man. I mean, of course, everybody bring up the Biggie lyrics that he, you know. A lot of the biggie lyrics and stuff that he used to say it was crazy all right but it's a different time now those around those times you know what i mean it really things wasn't really paused or no diddy worthy or yeah you know i mean things ain't really was the same then um now than they were then so every day people people were more conscious of uh the pause and the no diddy and you know what i'm saying Facts. Yeah, you had just selected few that was when they paused thing, and that you know that was them Harlem niggas with Dane and and uh you know Cam and them niggas saying all that. That was done. Right. You know what I'm Everybody else really wasn't on that pause and you know none of that. So yeah, let's go ahead. Matter of fact, I could pull that video up now. And, um, we can start with that. I mean, like I said, rest in peace, Biggie, man. Shout out to Brooklyn, man. <laughs> Shout out to our Brooklyn sister here, man. <laughs> what up, Melanie? Man, we let them judge the video. Yeah, we like, yeah, yeah. Here, we, here, yeah. look at the, the, the energy between the two and the things that are being said. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Yes. Make sure y'all hit that like button for y'all that just come in there. We're going to go ahead and get into this, man. 
Yeah, smash that like button before we start that video. Yeah, we're gonna get into uh Jaguar. Y'all know we're gonna get into I bet that. you a lot of people on here ain't see this video. Yeah, a lot I of people ain't see this. this. Yeah, a lot of people ain't I see this. I've seen this video before. I might have seen them a long time ago, but I, I don't remember. It's been so much going on since then. You know what I'm saying? And I, I really don't remember. So me seeing it now. I know of, for a fact funny. I didn't see this before. All right. Because I remember this the one where Big was talking about more more money, more problems. You know what I'm saying? The same. Because I remember them with that red jersey on. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get into this, y'all. And I got to take the man. All right. I got it. All right. Just give us a minute, y'all. All right. No, we ain't got no sound, baby. Get some sound, baby. I don't think people realize like how young we were, you know. So we're actually like kids in this multi-billion-dollar industry. I don't think people realize like how young we were, you know. So we're actually like kids in this multi-billion-dollar industry. I don't think people realize like how young we were, you know. So we're actually like kids in this multi-billion-dollar industry. I don't know, bro. Yeah, I'll let y'all be the judge of that. Maybe it's the energy <laughs> Diddy gives off. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I I ain't like the way Big rubbed his rubbed his face on that man's hand like that, though. Like I said, rest in peace, Big man. Rest in peace, Biggie. Still my still my favorite MC. You know what I mean. All right, so we all already know we're gonna have to get get into some more uh some more of these joints. Yeah, they're caressing. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, wiping his sweat on his own, on his hand and all that. I don't know. Now, I know Biggie was a big jokester. That you know, I mean, according to uh, you know his family members and close friends, they say he was like known for doing pranks. You know what I mean, doing a lot of pranks and joking a lot. You know what I mean, roasting people. Crack of jokes, you know what I mean? Like a real, just a real big jokes type, you know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't really like that joint. Yo, if y'all, hold I don't on, think people I really... ain't feel like my mic was off. If y'all feel like, if y'all feel like it was a prank, you know what I mean? Press one, one, one. But if you feel like it was real, press two, two, two. Because I know they did say big used to do pranks and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Could have just been, you know what I mean? Pac was the same way. Pac was the same way. Remember that story Marlon told? He put his nuts on a. Y'all look on, like uh, it was, it was kind of some, some fruit, fruitful going on. He was being fruitful, or he was oh. just, or he was just playing. Uh, pranks. Omar Epps. <laughs> I mean, I'm honest with you, niggas don't usually do pranks like that. But I mean, nah, not not well, rubbing your face on. Yeah, the, yeah, um, yeah. That's you. Know what I mean? Yeah. Or rubbing or rubbing your uh balls on somebody's face and all that. Oh wow. Remember, remember Marlon said Tupac with Omar Epps prank right. Omar Epps putting it pulling his balls out and putting right. next to his face. Yeah, you know I mean, like hey, I don't know. That's like that. Well, they were saying that I don't mean, uh, mean, I don't mean the rumor female. circulating that Puffy Puffy and Pac was had a relationship. Yeah, we talked about that already. Right. With the tattoo on the chest with the uh Tupac skull. They all was swingers or whatnot. I could believe that. Cause niggas, I mean, I ain't no different from niggas in the hood that used to run trains and all that. So I, it, it, it ain't no different. It, got you. Yeah, it ain't got no ja, different. The ja, ja Rule yeah. situation that he was that he was talking about with Diddy. Oh yeah, Ja Rule. Yeah, he's saying Ja Rule ran out the uh, Diddy room with the towel on and all that. They both had the towels right. on and all that. Oh yeah, send that French. <laughs> he had the towel on. Send the French yeah. man, my fan oh, John, too. Oh, that one. French, yeah, send Frenchie. Yeah. yeah. I thought we were still talking about Ja Rule. Stop worshiping celebrities so much. Just don't listen. Don't pay attention. So they say, we got Ja Rule on the phone. What well, Ja Rule thinks at a time like this, nigga, like, this is ridiculous. When bad shit happens to me, I'll be in the crib like, oh my god, this is terrible. 
Could somebody please find y'all rule, get hold of this mother so I can make sense of all this? Can I make sense of all this? Yeah, I ain't yeah, yeah. I ain't like Yeah, I ain't like the way the uh, Big rubbed his yeah, rubbed his hand and rubbed his face on his hand. I uh so we gonna go ahead and uh call John. Right, yeah, this this drone right here was kind of weird too. It, this was real weird. This was real weird, man. This was this is weird. This one right here was weird, y'all. Yeah, friend. Yeah, friend. Happy French. Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. It's a special birthday for both of us. Listen, listen. Happy birthday to French. But what we're not going to do is sit here and act like. It has like, uh, he did a Marilyn Monroe. He did a Marilyn Monroe joint with French. I know. Yeah, that's like a Marilyn Monroe type of I joint. Bet you you had, I bet you had French toast that morning, too. Oh man, and then Tyson, <laughs> y'all know. I don't know if y'all seen this one with Tyson, boy. Tyson moved that when he got Diddy hand right out the way. Like, right. He wasn't playing no games with that. He bro. bold coming at Tyson. That's prime Tyson yeah. too. Like, yeah, let me play this real quick. Well, now when we come back, we are gonna talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome, stick around, my brother. Oh, All right, Puff, we'll be right back. More right after this. Bro, you look funny as hell. It truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh yeah, he's, he's glittering. He's really he's glittering. About the Benjamin. Yeah. Well, now when we come back, we're gonna talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome, stick around, my brother. Oh, All right, we'll be right back with more right after this. It oh, truly wow. is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh yeah, and he was getting a little bit too loose yeah, with Mike those Tyson. fingers under yeah, Mike's Mike, leg and butt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mike don't play. Mike move. You see the way Diddy was looking after that though. Looks salty as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diddy you was see how he was smiling? That, Look how he's right. smiling. But then watch how his face look at the. Yeah, you know I mean, he was salty. Yeah, he was salty as hell, bro. Look, he's look, salty look. As hell. <laughs> yeah, he is salty as hell. Trying to rubble Mike leg and all that. Mike Tyson ain't playing those games. Nah, bro. Then he no gonna diddy. tell him. It's truly all about the Benjamin. He tried to take the, yeah, you know I mean, try not mm. to make it so obvious, but he couldn't help it. He had to yeah. move. He had to move out of the way. Like he gonna have this nigga filling up on my leg and butt. Look, look how look how Mike is all uncomfortable sitting at the edge of the yeah, chair. Yeah, he took that chair. Yeah, right. He's mad uncomfortable. Look, look how look how uncomfortable he is. You see, you can tell when a nigga's uncomfortable when they sit at the edge like that. Right. What a Mike Johnson on that. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. Go <laughs> off. <laughs> oh man. It's he's giving no, off that he, type you know, of energy. I got I got to right. I got to pull real up. Uh, Tyson, though. Yeah, yeah, right, you know, right, wild. right. It reminds me of the Terry Crews situation. I mean, that wasn't Diddy. That was another individual in the industry. But when why would you go up and touch a nigga like that unless you unless you heard something about him? Because you gonna test a big nigga like that, or you gonna test a nigga like Tyson? Oh hell no. Nah. Yeah, look, yo, that's wild, bro. Not tickety, not tickety tight. That, that's crazy. If he'd do that to Tyson, he'd do that to anybody. So you remember he had a little bit man boy in him. Oh damn, I can't bro, find that. I need to find bro, that. He did that to bro, if he did that to Tyson, Hold he on. did that to everybody. I, I ain't everybody. Yo, see if you, see if you can find that. Chicken the chicken I'll, and waffles. Yeah, What's the boy name again? The, uh Deidre's D De Dampson. Idris Dampson, Idris, Idris right. Dampson, or something like that, at Diddy's house. Snowfall dudes at Diddy's house. I don't know. You right. could probably put that in or something. No Diddy. Yeah, this was wild right here with uh with um with bon <laughs> with uh with Busy Bone said, bro. This was kind of wild right here. What he said. Listen to what this nigga said. It's kind of wild right here. Like the studio session. Like I've been working on my rap this particular verse for a long time and i went in there and i just dropped it in one take and diddy was just looking at me like i'm gonna fuck with him later on <laughs> <laughs> oh no diddy no diddy no diddy busy busy no diddy wow diddy 
Yeah, that, that was crazy. No Diddy, Busy. Busy Bone, no Diddy, man. I mean, he do that with any. He come on to anybody, bro. Your pets probably ain't, ain't even safe around him. Damn, the SNL Jones. That's probably ain't even safe, bro. The, the SNL dog is, Jones. Your cats ain't too. even safe around him. Your pet fish probably ain't even safe around him. <laughs> yeah, that, that was crazy, bro. That's wild, bro. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Diddy, a wild bull, man. What? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, he's a wild bull. Yeah. I was trying to get the uh Robert De Niro joint on SNL too when he was on SNL. Crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tell Diddy no. Oh, that's what Cash said. Right. All right. You gotta tell Diddy no. Man, that's wild. That's crazy. He said that, and then you know all this stuff is going on with Diddy. All this stuff with the homeland. Mm-hmm. It's like this is almost like scripted events going on out here, man. All right. Shout out, shout out to all urban. I mean, mean. yeah, this one, uh, snowfall the two snowfall balls is that Diddy house on the couch eating chicken and waffles, man. Chicken and waffles, knock your motherfucker right here. You're watching the game, my brother eating some chicken and waffles. This pretty black. Right here. You know what I mean? God. Hey, yo, you did your thing this season. God. Yeah, my name is Man Boy. <laughs> I, I had to pat him down for you in my house. He was so believable. Yeah. He's got a little bit of Man Boy in him, though. I can tell. He got yeah. a little bit of Man Boy in him, though. Uh, he got a little bit of Man Boy in him. I can tell. A little bit of Man yeah. Boy in him. Everybody. Uh, look, everybody. Uh, look, look. Uh, in him, though. I can tell. He's got a little bit of Man Boy in him, though. I can tell. He's got a little bit of man boy in him, though. I can tell. He blushing. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a little bit. Did he got man boy blushing and all that? Crazy, bro. Down for you in my house. He was so believable. <laughs> He's got a little bit of man boy in him, though. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> got to he tell Diddy no. You got, got, got to tell. Man boy in him. You got I to tell, tell P. Diddy no. You got to tell P. Diddy no. You know what I'm right. saying? Oh, thanks for uh gifting the memberships, uh Melanie Jones. Y'all thank Melanie Jones for gifting y'all the memberships. I mean, appreciate it. Diddy them. was the only nigga not eating appreciate chicken and that. waffles. All the rest of them eating chicken and waffles, huh? Diddy think he's slick though. Right. Them, yeah, them yeah. chicken waffles. Right. Come over on my couch. Yeah, let's go watch these. the game. Yeah, let's go watch let's, right. Let's go watch the finale of Snowfall with some chicken and waffles on my couch. Facts. Why couldn't they eat that at the table? You know what I'm saying? Why on why on the couch? <laughs> oh, I'm like, nah, I'm good. I eat it at the table. I like eating at the table. <laughs> like eating. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to spill anything on your on your, yeah, on your yeah, carpet. On your nice when you new, when yeah, your nice your couch, your carpet. carpet. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm saying? I don't, don't want to be messy, man. Right, I got some, we got some more jaws to pull up. Yo, y'all know this is just a petty live stream, y'all. Y'all know we just being petty. Hell on yeah, these, being petty. Hey, man, these videos, tired, uh, these, I don't know, these videos are kind of sus, though. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. No, right. I, I ain't trying to, yeah, we being petty, but these, these videos are oh, sus. still kind of sus, right? Diddy's a little wild, man. Happy birthday to you, Frenchie. Happy birthday, right. dear Frenchie. Remember he sung that to uh Fad too. Oh yeah, he did sing. Yeah, because yeah, we did the sang- skit. Yeah, we yeah. did the par- we did the cartoon parody. Sung- yeah. We might have to did pull the that up. And roll to JFK, John. Oh, no, we might have to pull that and, up. And to Fad. We ain't no cooning yeah, on the spoon. I'm about to make a fabulous French toast, baby. Look, <laughs> I'm about to make a fabulous French toast. <laughs> <laughs> no cooning on his spoon, you know what I'm mean? saying? Diddy about to make himself a fabulous French toast. I'm going to take them both shopping. We're going to have an amazing breakfast, you know what I'm saying? Fat, we're going to just call it fabulous French toast. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, then the game was saying, like, yo, Diddy ain't never want to go to the studio. He's like, he want to always just keep me around. To go to parties and all that, but I'm like, Puff, let's go to the studio. Let's make some, 
I'm like, that's crazy, bro. Damn, what part of got he going to? I don't know. The game, the game bought that nigga a Lamborghini and all that. Oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. damn, y'all niggas is doing them. I need to do that. Going. That's, that's okay. definitely a couple. All right, so, so I'm going to be dropping this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come out, you got to, you know, where your seat I covers. mean, I'm 15. You can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Not that. Not yet. No. All right, no, 16. No, no, 16. Slow down. Tell him, slow down. Okay. Let's slow down. Okay. Let's okay. Step at a time. But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours. Yo, Justin Bieber is ruined, bro. He is ruined, bro. Like, he ruined. Uh, the industry definitely did a number on that boy, man. Um, to the point where you know, the interviews he was like crying out during his interviews and saying, you know, I don't even want my daughter to even go through none of this stuff. So y'all, y'all ain't seen oh. Bieber in a while because the the industry didn't the industry did a number on this young man, man. Similar to Orlando Brown, right? Similar to Amanda Bynes, you know, when you get sixteen. Yeah, I'm saying. I'm yeah. Right. And then when you get 18, you get the house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So where where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, Britney Spears. Where we going? Where we going? <laughs> Just Britney. Check this out, yo. Um, Justin, yeah. he's in. Shit, all them, all them young. Yeah, I've seen the movie 48 Hours. Oh. Right now, he's having 48 Damn, Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Yeah. Like, um, Damn, they're having the time to their lives. Like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, you know, I I, I have. It don't need to be no 15 year old dream. You know what I mean? Like, be hanging out with him. Cause you know, because you got, you got to right. remember Usher, which we're going to play that video too. Usher went to Diddy's Flavor Camp at what, 13, 14? Usher ended up signing Justin Bieber around the same age. He don't need to be around that, bro. He don't need to be like Usher shouldn't even been seeing that when he was, the stuff he said he was seeing that. Right. As a young, you don't need to be seeing this. Right, I was just about I had to that do that. I wish I had that punch in. I was just about, to, bro. I was just about to say that. We need that ice cube punch in from Boys in the Hood when he told, uh, when he told the girl that it, that the child ain't need. You don't need to be seeing. Yeah, you don't need Ricky, to be seeing yeah, this. Ricky was dead on the couch. Right, right. Yeah, he, yeah, he, 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 he don't need to be seeing this. You don't need to be seeing this. Sure. I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full, crazy. Going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. Which one? Oh, this is like I don't like little, how Diddy said that. Yeah, I don't like that neither. But I guess this is what, like, little reality show, John, with the 48 hours with Diddy. Yeah, I mean, I don't like how he said that. Hours oh, joint. Crazy. Like, what are you, what are you talking yeah. about, man? That sounded wild. 48 hours with Diddy. That that 48 yeah, hours. I, yeah, I wouldn't let my nah. I wouldn't let my child do no 48 hours with Diddy. 48 hours. Let's go on. Let's just go get some girls. Oh, let's switch to Usher though, because Usher said he would never let his daughter go through the same thing he went through. Justin Bieber said the same thing in his interview. I, I gotta find that. I gotta pull that up because um I did I did have that um queued up before i'm gonna have to go get that just to let y'all right, know the you. cbd gummies are back on the shop y'all they live oh, and they direct live and direct yep. gummies are back on there y'all for y'all that been waiting supply, on the gummies so. the gummies are back limited supply and you still limited. get your 25 percent off when you yep. use cbd take all 25 25 yep cbd take all 25 the um the discount code is at the top of the website too. So, for y'all that been waiting on them, gump them gummies. Go ahead and get them. And the uh, we're working on the cookies and brownies too, y'all. So, damn, I'm trying to find an usher jar. Oh, I got it. There you go. All right. So this is uh, let me go ahead and get this little speed up joint real quick. Uh, this is uh, Howard Stern. Matter of fact, I might have to go ahead and put the bearing up for this one real quick. Oh, the niggas coming through on the stress night talking about some, yeah, you know I mean, right, yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean. So, we're going to get, to get into this, uh, Usher. A lot of y'all heard this before, but we just, you know, get into the, the recap of this joint. Let's get it. Might have to speed it a little bit. I did. All right, let me know if y'all can hear it. Oh, no, nah, my bad. Y'all can't hear it. Hold on, let me know if y'all to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's okay. a crazy thing. I can hear that. We good? Yeah, yep. You good? Right. You good? You good? 
sending you over to something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> some Flavor Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's in pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. Was so nobody tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. It. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil' Kim, Craig Mack. You all know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans, Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blige. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. Yeah. I actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> what, and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like... What was he doing on that? Had, like, you know, what like a, a life. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> See? <laughs> Hell no. You got to he tell said, he hell no. Bro, he said he was up later than them. Yeah. Like, what was he doing? Because, you know, late night, late night, that's when it all well, really goes. At. How uh, is I he said, up later than everybody else as, as a child? Well, it was an interview in 2004. He did. It, was a interv- it was an interview from a magazine. He did an um, interview in 2004. The Usher said Diddy had, Puffy had introduced him to a new sex, a whole new sex way of looking at the sex life thing. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff he witnessed, he said, you know, he was sleeping with older women when he was a teenager, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, you he think was sleeping older with women? Yeah. Like, like, you think yeah. just, you think just older women? Just? No, nah, I'm talking about Usher. During, during yeah. the time when he was 14 yeah. or 15. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you yeah. think it was just older women? Or it could have been older men too. I, I don't know. He I'm just going off according to what he said. He said older women. So I, oh, I don't okay. know. I don't older men I thing. Mean, he said curious things. I don't yeah, know. Curious, that, yeah, yeah. What that I mean, meant. Well, you I know don't know what he, he meant by that. You know, you know what he's saying. He's seen the freak offs. He said so he said he's seen some curious things. Yeah, I'm the freak offs. Oh, like it's like that. Yeah, one. niggas running trains on chick. The, yeah, old, doing all, the, yeah. um juicy right. video on a yacht. Hey, like he was, was around train, for all that. It was a train on. It was a, a transformer, robot in disguise. Somebody said that wasn't a train. They said that was uh, um, the one the girl from Total. One of the girls from Total. Ah, uh, okay. I, I don't know, bro. Don't know about that, bro. I, I don't know that. That's what people were saying. I don't know, bro. I don't know about that, bro. Right, so, uh, because they said the same, know. the same, the same one was in another uh Biggie video. Who was the one, John? The Big Power um, video. Yeah. It was in both videos. It Juicy wasn't the same Big person, Pop. though. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he sure definitely I, said something I'm, was going on with that. I'm pretty I, sure hey, they man, had. I, I'm pretty sure they had trans, trans, I don't really, trans women around that time. Around that time, I mean, like, plus working, probably working for the for their companies and all that. They probably had the right. trans women around that time. And they just like, got the part in the video, right? Yeah, they don't they discriminate. Ain't. Hey, there ain't nothing unusual to that to that industry. Hey, that was your brother. Everything's good. Selling like, out arenas and everything. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you gotta, I mean, you don't need to be. He wasn't. He don't need to be hanging out with you at the age. Nah, he don't need to be hanging. I don't. I don't like how they treated. I gotta pull some of them videos. I don't like how they oh, open yeah. that man on national TV and actually telling me smell grown men telling me smell good. How old are you? Yeah. And looking at him strange like. Just yeah, man through something, bro. Like, I'm about I'm to send that. You know, you know, and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But you never really got my number, so right. okay. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five, five, five. Yes. Okay. Five, 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 five. Okay. Five, five, five. You heard that? Yeah. Okay. Hey, we know that ain't no real damn. Nah, that ain't so no real number. They just playing it off. You know what I mean? Well, I'm here to um because you've been a big supporter of mine. Yeah. Or Joseph's side. This, this right here is my young brother right here. He's been a big supporter of mine. My album's coming out, and you know we got the crew going around now. You in New York City? We got the Dirty Money crew. We want to make you an official member of the Dirty Money crew. All right. There you go. Is, Justin Bieber, swag. is it your swag? And then you got to do the swag walk too. Okay. I got to show you the swag walk. And school, and they do school. this stuff on national TV. Yeah, jokes on yeah. us. We don't know what's really going on. Nah, we don't know what's really going you know what on. I'm saying, even but though they the one right on national TV, like the Hunger well, Games, the, the winners that... of the Hunger Games, they had them on there acting like everything was good and they was living the high life. 
but it well, wasn't chick- true. Everything was scripted. Like, they were still prisoners. Well, what you call them intention said said what her intentions was. She wanted to be the the older woman that dated Justin Bieber. She, I guess she called it just the Bieber fever or whatever. The one that grabbed his button and all right. that was kissing him on his neck and all that on, on national TV on stage. Manager, she admitted you think these that these winning, but they highly control. Look at Bieber. Bieber Mogul, look like Bieber would be winning right because of his career, but his life is ruined. Nah, his life I is ruined, bro. Yeah, there you right, go. like. Here you go, right. dirty money. Okay, so when we walked down the streets in New York, we hit him like this. So we and you walking, we hanging out, you know, a little later on the night after the Usher concert. Yeah. You know, get those ladies, right? after that, the ladies, we in the street, Times Square. Yeah. We go, swag. Swag. Yeah. You see that? You see That's my hand right there? It's pushing the hate. You sent it? Just, yeah, just, just bad. Right, let me pull this up, bro. It's crazy, man. I don't know. Why would you let your kids go wandering off with these clowns? All right. Oh, I know why. Why? Money. That cash. Yeah, take care of their family. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, let me play this for y'all real quick, y'all. It's called right, playing the game. You smell amazing. How old are you? Uh, thank you. Wow, look at your eyes. Um, what music are you listening to at the moment? <laughs> I feel violated right now. Wow. But I took the opportunity in the window, considering I'll never get to do it again, and kind of molested him. What? Do you like French girl? Oh, yeah. I love yeah. French girl. That's a really weird question. And, uh, you know, I'm just saying my mom was right, like, right there. Things on blast. Yeah. You want to say it again? You have beautiful lips. Oh, thank you, man. Thank <laughs> you, like, bro. Oh, you have great lips. Wow. Thank you, bro. Can I give you the sex talk? Oh, yeah. So why don't you give me the sex talk? I, I really, I feel uncomfortable right now. Oh. Why do you want to know the sex talk from a 15-year-old boy? That's pretty weird. <laughs> Yeah, serious. Harry, who apparently wanted to know what a Bieber butt felt like. Naked with your friends? Why are you putting me on the spot like this? Gosh. It keep humiliating. Now that's the stuff we just seeing that's happened on TV. You can that's imagine what happened behind the scene. Yeah, you can imagine what's happened when the cameras. Yeah, are I, going, I can't. Bro. I can't rock with that. Yo, they ruined that's that young man' right life. The industry ruined that. That young man, life, bro. He don't even look the same, bro. I don't even think he will even want to. Yeah, that's wickedness over there. He don't even want to be part of the industry no more, bro. He don't. That man don't. You got the ungodly on one side, and you got the wicked on the other. At the end of the day, they both the same character. That's wickedness right there. Obviously, that boy didn't want to be touched by any of them. He felt creeped out, actually. He was creeped out. In every video, yeah, he was. He Basically, was. he had sense too. Why are you asking the fifty-year-old boy that? Yeah, why'd you? Oh, why? Oh, I feel violated right now. Yeah. Why are you touching me? Like this right. is this is like you know what I'm saying. No, no means no. The hell you got to tell you got to tell T did he know? Right, no means no at that point. Ask someone he got pretty lips. They're gonna ask a fifteen-year-old boy if, if, if he want a a, a a sex doll. Made after him. Yeah, that's you know how crazy. Creepy bro. that is, bro. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. To ask them that, ask them that on a live radio show. I'm surprised yeah, that didn't get canceled. You know what, man? This is crazy. Right. right. This shit is over. Yeah, you got. <laughs> it's over, y'all. So you got Usher saying that him <laughs> play this. Drum. You gonna hate me for this one? Oh. Jay Z, Pharrell, Diddy, damn, Arthur. and me was supposed to be a group. Nigga, what type of group you talking about? Yeah, nigga? Good, that, that's cat. That's, like that's some cat, nigga. Double date. What type of group? What the, type of group this nigga talking about? Date. The the, the group. The this group nigga was gonna be called about. Double Date. Hey, this nigga talking about they's all supposed to be in a group. Right. What that, type of group? Even, yeah, that's crazy. You gonna hate me for this one? That was that sounded like oh. some high talk. That they would just high one night. Jay Z, Pharrell, Diddy, damn Arthur, and me was supposed to be a group. Yeah, that's crazy. You gonna nigga? That's cat, nigga. Y'all nigga won't that's, be what, Wouldn't that be the name of the group though? Double date. That's a double date. Oh, Diddy, <laughs> Jay, Jay, Pharrell, Diddy, and Usher. No Diddy. 
So now, and now everybody reposting <laughs> this damn video. This damn video is resurfacing because man, of uh, wow, man, I'm done because uh, this Black 100 finish. Black 100 keep going in on Meek Mill, and he he end up posting this video with Diddy. This is back resurfaced and going viral again. When that nigga had the wig on and all that. I'm kind of glad when you take the celebrity route. This ain't it. Look at it. Back 100 said, not the hair, it's the mannerisms and the lace and the lace shirt. Maybe this that's, was for Meek Mill wild. video. He said, maybe this was for Meek Mill video. I don't think Meek was hanging around Diddy around this time. I don't, I don't know. He could have nah, been. Nah, that's an old video. He don't know this is an old video. He probably do. He's just trolling Meek anyway. Right. Yeah, did hey, he could have handled Meek around this time. Who knows? Who knows who he was handling? Who knows yeah, who did he was handling? Who did he was He could have hit Rick Ross. Like, who that Who that? Uh, that little cute uh, artist that you just signed? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, now. Nah. Oh, let me play this who, real who quick. Cause, he, cause, um, <laughs> let, me, let me pull this up real quick. Because... Uh, what you call him said she said she believed Rick Ross on them tapes. Said, oh Rick yeah, Ross right. Tape, bro, Tia Kent, right. uh Rick Ross baby. She be wilding on this joint when she don't get away with that nigga. She just go online and start going off on oh, him. Oh man, this is wild, bro. Let me pull that up, y'all. She had that nigga on the, on them tapes. It's crazy to me, bro. Crazy. He's a prime example of he'd do anything to stay on top. Yeah, you can pretty tell. Much. Pretty Yo, much. he would do anything to stay on top. I, it, it don't matter what it is. No matter what it he'd is, do anything to stay on top. Yeah, told you, you know, he won't stop. Because when you get to a status like that, you don't want to be number two. You want to be right. number one. Right. You know what I mean? And you'll do underhanded things to be yeah, number, number one, even stab people in the back. That's that you on the same back, club. Step with. On, yep, step on An unauthorized stab in the back. You know, they had to have a sit down. And you said, We got to get this guy out of here. You know, them <laughs> niggas had to sit down. Get this shit out of here. They all sep- yep, they all separated. All his friends separated from him. So, you know, this is like a mafia style because they call each other, my brother, my, all this shit that they talk, you know, when they in that my club. Brother. Yeah, right. you got twenty million dollar contract. I got my thirty million dollar contract. We got yeah, we brothers. Yeah, we we taking over the industry. Yeah, you know I mean, soon as soon as one do something that they ain't supposed to be doing, they 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 have a, a sit down with the higher ups. You know, massa, and they, and they massa. Be like, look, man, we gotta get him out of here because he's doing extra. He's stabbing his own brothers in the back. Get him out of here. Well. And he yeah. tried to sue Diaz. <laughs> right. For that dancing around. Well, I want you to talk. That, talk. that backfired. Mm-hmm. Don't be scared now. No Diddy, huh? You scared now, huh? I know y'all on them tapes. Freaky I know years. Ten churn half. It's time to show them churns now. I ain't gonna let off you. <laughs> You should have been shut this big mouth hole. You know, you know big ass teeth. You know it. Sit me a fruit bat. You know what I like. Coconut water hole. Whole one. Well, she always she always look at them big ass porcelains, man. Drill a hole in it and put a cane straw in it for me. I'm mad right now. They ain't hit me and my baby prom in two weeks. I better go let out. Turn that down, man. Turn it down. It's quiet right now. What you quiet for? Nobody want to see your Louis outfits and sneakers. Nobody want to see it. Nobody don't care to see the Jets no more. You running out of holes now. Go over there and get Diddy a hug. Go ride the bike with him, you fat. Yo, she funny. She, she you know what time it is. Prom time. You ain't sent the motherfucking message since December 9th, you uh, big 
This is Rick Ross' baby mom, Tia Kent. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, she wild. Um, she been going. She been going on this nigga for years, man. That you remind me of the chick off the Tyler Perry movie. But I'm not for the. Why did I get married? The loud right. mouth. Play with you. Was, I'm not married to. Uh, you gonna make me Michael come to Josh. the gate? Michael you been in Perry. Miami a lot, cause you ain't got no motions. It's slowing down. I heard. I heard you fat. <laughs> can heard. I'm gonna get you, Will. I'm gonna get your. <laughs> I'm gonna get universe. Do your work on that big big back and if you keep sending motherfucking messages around that's getting back to me i'm gonna come over here and tell it all you be told your to be toe in next you know what i'm talking about and your mama won't answer tell her respond way too damn big hell yeah she said me up and say hi she got relaxed then i said hi hey Nothing else. Then when a, a week later I say, call me nothing. Big glasses, Fuck big that how it for. Here. Big words, big personality. Graduation, man. prom, all that do. You could get right. an invitation if you can call. Damn, man. Now, she wild, bro. Now you I know you ain't gonna call now. You big wow. mouth. Will I want you to talk? Talk. Don't be scared now. No diddy, huh? You scared now, huh? I know y'all on them tapes. Funny, though. Freaky. Yeah, nah, she a character, bro. Yeah, I nah, like, I like her. She funny. Yeah, I, I rock with her personality, bro. She, yeah. she <laughs> big, she big personality with it. You know what I mean? Like, she can hold down. I, I would hate to have, like her, have a baby mom like that, but she definitely yeah, funny I would have, yeah, Yeah, I would definitely hate to have a baby mom like that. <laughs> but you think about it. She got her own podcast. Bro, that joint to be huge. No diddy. Right. Right. That joint, you know what I mean? She probably had one of the yeah, biggest she podcasts. Funny she funny as hell. Mm -hmm. She know how to draw a crowd in. You know what I'm saying? She should be doing stand up. I don't know what yeah, the hell she's she doing. Nah, I think she do do. I think she do get booked for clubs and all that. I think she do do all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, Rick Ross. I know she be putting that nigga through it. Hey, hey Ross, man, send her the yeah, check, he's man. Stressed. Yeah, he ain't he gonna, definitely, he ain't gonna she definitely stresses his up. ass out. She ain't That's gonna show up, bro. First medical. That's what that medical emergency was about. She was stretching his ass out, had him overeating, had him overeating them wings. Right. <laughs> he Bro, she was stressed as hell, smoking, smoking blunt after blunt, eating wing after wing. That shit caught. That shit caught Bro, up with him. She said she ain't gonna stop. He better send that check because she said she gonna keep that joint going. Right. And and she said, man, she giving that man hell. Yeah, and she said. <laughs> She that, that you know he ain't, he ain't chipping on the on her son prom. That's why she said she said all right, nigga, keep sending text messages, crazy text messages. I'm just gonna go on, uh, on my on my live stream and expose everything. I'm like, damn, bro, that's dangerous, bro. Remember she did she was the one with the whole Fifty Cent thing. Remember Fifty right. Cent flew out to New York, bought right. her a mate, took her shopping, right. put her on the podcast. Right. That's before podcast was podcast. Put her on the podcast. She was exposing her brother, saying all these weird things. Then, then they went to Floyd crib. Remember? Right, right. He took to the Floyd crib, and they was all hanging out at Floyd crib. Right. That's crazy, bro. Like, yo, that's he dangerous. around all of them. I think Diddy even walked up in there. He did. Yeah, Diddy even walked did. through there. Yeah, I, yeah. It's wild. It's a wild thing, man. It's, it's... Yeah. Hey, hey, Rick, man. Send Ricky. Hey, Rick, hey, send her a check, Ricky. Cause this woman ain't gonna, she ain't gonna shut up. She, yeah, she be licking them big ass teeth. It's crazy to me, bro. Them porcelain joints. She be licking them joints all day. Man, we just being petty. Don't do, they taking this? You hater. You talk about her teeth. You guys are haters yeah. talking about her teeth. If y'all knew this channel, y'all know we just be. Man, we just being petty. We petty satire. Y'all see that? We like the girl. We 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 just being exactly. petty. Exactly. Y'all see the names Petty Pendergrass and, and Petty Murphy. Y'all right. see the name names on the damn screen. Petty Murphy and Petty Pendergrass. I'm glad she ain't my baby mama. Right. But Don't take she's it definitely serious. Entertaining to watch. She's entertaining she's to watch. That man, bro. hell, man. Woo. Yeah. Giving that man hell, bro. I mean, at least he gave us example. Yeah, you know I mean, who not to have now? <laughs> right. Cause that she she hawking that man down. She ain't oh. letting him breathe one bit. 
everything that's happening, she's gonna find a way to link it back to, to Ross. Oh, right. did he go going down? Let me get on here and let them know that. Yeah, yeah, Ross, your freak off. Your ass was on them tapes too. Yeah, she said that nigga on. Wait to get online to do that, boy. Bro, you should have sent sent her some bread for that prom for her son prom for y'all son prom because she right. definitely gonna keep spilling. He probably sent it by after she said he was on the tape. She probably he probably she probably got the bread by now. She to tell you the truth, she shouldn't even have to ask this nigga for money. Right, it should already be there at that point. Damn, bro. Hey, man. Chick funny. He probably feel it, man. This bitch betrayed me. Was... Seeing her oh. around fifty, this bitch betrayed oh. me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that, I think that put that put a. Uh, yeah, that went over the line for Ross. He when she was over there with uh, fifty and all them niggas. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that was. Make sure you hit that like. Hit that like button if y'all ain't, because we got to get into Jaguar real quick. We're going to get into a quick commercial break, and we're going to go ahead and hit y'all back when we when we come back from this commercial break. So make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Just hit that like button. Ladies and gentlemen, we right back after these messages, so stay tuned. Zeolite is one of the most amazing minerals of our age. Millions of people have been using detoxification supplements to remove harmful toxins, pollutants, heavy toxic metals, as well as to balance pH levels, lower the risk of viruses like cold and flu, support the immune system, and improve nutrient absorption. What is zeolite? Zeolite is a volcanic ash that forms over time when ash and lava react with alkalized water, resulting in a compound with a very strong cage-like structure and a negative charge. Zeolite is one of the most fascinating and powerful nature remedies available. Great to detox and balance your body. Health Benefits of Detoxing the removal of excess heavy metals can improve overall health. Detoxification helps balance a body's pH levels. This product provides 30 capsules, one month supply, ships within three days. Purchase now at night and daynetmarket.com. All right, we back. Links to the links to our shop is pinned to the top of this ch chat. Also in the description of this video. And also, you'll see it floating across the bottom of the screen. Nightanddaynetmarket.com. You're looking for a great detox. Definitely go over there. It's a five-star product. You know what I'm saying? You can read all the reviews, how it's helping people. You know what right. I'm saying? And see, see where, see where you know, how it'll help you lose weight, get your stomach right. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all want to get your summer bods on. So y'all definitely should clean yourselves out with a great detox, man. Drink plenty of water with it, too. Plenty you know I mean? of water. Hey man, and the CBD gummies are back. CBD gummies, a limited yeah, supply. You know what I mean? It's still twenty five percent off all the CBD. Right. When you type in CBD, take off twenty five. Uh, they, they get twenty five percent off. They back. You know what I'm saying they back. So we got back. limited supply. They back. I know those move fast. So y'all want to uh support. And you get twenty five at the top of the at the top of the chat or in the description right. if you're watching this later at a later date. And it's also right. in the chit at. In the chit at. All right. So make sure y'all head over there, nightdaynetmarket.com. Let's go ahead, man. So Jaguar, man. You, you, yeah. Jag, Jag out here. Shout out to income and she posted a sob, some side by side. Yeah. So she recently did an interview with um Real Life Street Stars. I think they put it on membership. So in order to watch the interview, you gotta pay for the membership. Um and Jag, man, she looked kind of bad, bro. Like, and it, you could tell it's from sleep deprivation, bro. She not getting sleep. She probably not, you know what I mean, getting the right nutrition and none of that. But bro, she aging fast as hell, bro. Fast, bro. Just from I'm last tell you year. what that is. I'm gonna tell you what that is. That's that's alcoholism, bad diet, no sleep, and dehydration. And, yep. And need the detox. She need that zeolite, yep. bro. That's exactly what that is. Look at that, bro. Alcoholism. Look, look at it. She's dehydrated. Number one, her iron is low. Yeah. Yo, we ain't even joking. We ain't even joking with this. Nah, that's not even joking. We ain't even roasting her or joking or anything, bro. This looks not real at bad. This, not at this moment. Nah, not at this moment, You can just bro. look at her and tell what's wrong. She's drinking too much alcohol. Um, 
you can tell there's some liver stuff going on. Uh, from diet and alcohol, you know, alcohol I guess is included and, and, in and, diet. And, and sleep deprivation, and bro. Sleep she don't deprivation, sleep. She don't right. sleep. And, and dehydration. Yeah. Not enough uh water. And that looks bad, bro. It like, looks look, bad, yeah. Look. Right. Look the last year compared to this year, bro. Look at that. And, and, and you know, Man. you gotta know how you gotta care to keep yourself. If you keep self sabotaging yourself, you're gonna self sabotage yourself with the, with your health too. You gotta yeah, think about this. We talking girl. about the same woman that ran up in the mayor's office just to get arrested, and then ran up in the police station just to get arrested. Burn. Like going in there and starting trouble in places where you know you're gonna get arrested at. Right. You get what I'm saying, like. Man. That's the highest form of just not giving a shit anymore. Right. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Income and Opinion um, channel as well. You know what I mean? It's look crazy, bro. That don't make no sense. When I seen this, I'm like, damn, Jack. You need to go. You need some. Yeah. You need a good. A, you need some rest. You know what I mean? You need some good Man, rest. You need to detox. The detox. Uh, Zia Light would be food. really. Yeah. Zia Light, she'd be. She would benefit from that. Drink a lot of water. Definitely. You know I mean, detox and get some sleep. Right. You can tell. Just look at it. She looks stressed the hell out, bro. Just look at her face. It's because the way she treat herself and others. Life, yeah. Right. You got to think. She treat herself Respect. bad. You got to understand. She treat herself just as bad as she treat others. Yeah. Because anything good that come into her life, she self sabotage it. So even if she was on a path to good health, what would she say on the panel? She's going to self sabotage it, just like she self sabotage all like, her relationships. What did she say? I like it. I like that. I like sabotaging relationships. That she said. She said that, and when she came right. to the panel last yeah. week, when she hopped up on the panel, I like. I like. Uh, right. I like sabotaging relationships. I like that. I like she just kept saying I like that. I like doing that. Like, yo. No, she don't. No, she don't. She don't like doing it. It's just that she needs help and she's not admitting that she needs help. Yeah. She thinks it's the world and not her. Pointing the finger at everybody else. She's running because she's not doing no shadow work. Right. She's not dealing room. with her own darkness inside and dealing with herself. She like you used to say, sit sitting with yourself. She can't never just sit with herself. She always need chaos. She always had to constantly be surrounded in chaos to take the distraction off of herself. You realize people who are like that, who always need commotion around them, nonstop, those are the people who can't sit with themselves and actually learn about self. The inner them. What the hell is going on in the inner me? Right. They can't think like that. They can't think like that. So... They run away from the inner them. Because, you know, it's hard facing your own demons and your own darkness. Bad, bro. That's probably the hardest thing on the planet to do. Yeah, for anybody. It, it seems like it should be the easiest, right? Nope. Nah, it's not. That's the hardest thing to do. Period. And at the end of the day, in your head, you're going to be like, I fucked up. And most people yeah. don't can't get to that conclusion. Right. You know what I mean? Most people can't get to that. Until you get to that conclusion, your life is going to be a mess. Right. That's crazy, bro. Right. Look at that. That's, That's why that. I said she can't come on here and say nothing. I, I can see right through her. Because it, it's, it, it's millions of her out there. Yeah, people, millions we, of people just like people her out we there know, who ain't dealing with we know personally. Darkness. Right. Yeah, people we know personally. People we've you know known over the years, personally, facts. Right. Because you don't, you don't, you don't do. That's what shadow work. I know people. Yeah, I don't like that new age sound and stuff. Shadow work. No, shadow work is actually going within and dealing. You can't just cover everything up with. Yeah, you know I mean, blaming everybody else or cover everything up with Jesus. They either do that or the other thing. They either become completely like, eh, 
I don't need nothing to nobody, or they be like, or they just let Jesus cover everything up, and they don't deal with nothing themselves. Fix without works, right? Dead. It's one crazy. It's one extreme to the other. That's why I said the un the, the ungodly and the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Jack took the wicked route, and some people take the ungodly route by not dealing with themselves and covering everything up with Jesus or Buddha or Allah or whoever you pray to. You say, "Oh, they got it," and not dealing with your own demons. Yeah, inside. you gotta put the work. Just yeah. saying that. Oh, yeah, just putting it on some outside deity and not dealing with it yourself and thinking that you're better than everybody. That's that is one extreme or the other. That's the ungodly and the wicked. The wicked on one side say, "I don't care. It's everybody else's fault." Yeah, I like sabotaging everything because the world is evil. So you ain't dealing with yourself. Then you got the that's the wicked side. Then you got the ungodly on the other side that covers everything up with Buddha, Jesus, and whatever else. And then you got the ones in the middle who's trying to do the work and getting bothered by both sides of extreme. Right. That's the real shit that's going on out here. No damn sense. Right. And and trust me, it's less than one percent in the middle part, in the balance area. Right. In the population. Yeah, this this it's is less, definitely... it's less than than zero 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 point one. Yeah, this is definitely sleep deprivation. This is uh high dehydration. Um basically not yeah, I mean she's probably smoking a lot because she smoked like back to back like a chimney. So smoking cigarettes, smoking cigarettes is definitely, and then drinking on top of that. Yep. It's a bad job right here, yo. This is That's a bad job, man. That's running away from yourself. I, I mean, we run away man. from ourselves with covering it up with, with alcohol and, uh, man, everything. Relationships, people who just in a serial relationship, just in relationship every other day in a new relationship. Yeah, and six and seven yeah, marriages, and, right. and six right. and seven marriages, and you've been married. You got niggas out here that's been married six or seven times. You know what I'm saying? You you can't tell me this is not. We haven't reached the point of mental illness. Yeah, then like that's this is this thing. is like right. I mean the thing another is thing. I'm not just it's just not Jag though. It's Chase. society. Period. She's just a product of Chasing. this society. Chasing. She's just a product. She's a, a product of the environment that's breeding individuals like this. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I think Jag like 40, 46 or 47. Yeah, I think she's like 46 or 47, somewhere around there. We yep. are definitely in a world of extremes. I realize that. Well, that's 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 going to happen in the world of a duality. You even going to be far left, far right, or, or you, you can be mean? balanced. And be but in but the, the thing is, you got to try to balance it out. You know what I mean, that's the that's the per, the point. You got to you know what I mean, you got to maintain that balance. Um, this is this is a uh, right here is the pro, prime example of unbalanced. Put the YouTube down. You know what I mean, stop, stop worrying about what people saying and doing, and yeah, you know I mean, and start taking care of yourself, uh, Jack. Like, this shit ain't even worth it at the end of the day. I don't know what you chasing after, right? But I don't think it's worth it. I think it's time for you to slow down. You look, you gotta look back at yourself. Maybe you need to go back and watch that interview you just did, and look, and, and just look at yourself. Like, you got some people just don't realize. You know what I'm saying? Themselves until it's too late. You know what I'm saying? They don't realize it until it's too late. She got to yeah, go Jack, back. Jack, Jack was like, she still drinks Mad Dog 2020. I ain't, right. even going, I ain't even going front, bro. She literally looks like she drank Mad Dog 2020. And, and smoked cigarettes back to back. Smoked cigarettes back to back. And, pack a uh, beer. Uh, yep. a, a pint, a pint of uh, a pint of Mad Dog Twenty Twenty, a right. six pack, a six pack of beers, and, and and a couple packs of cigarettes, and that's right. like carried through the whole night. 
That's right. the, that's a whole night. Pr trust me, bro. I didn't watch people do that. They have they have three packs of cigarettes or four packs of cigarettes, a pint of something, and then like you know what I mean, or even a, a six pack or a twelve pack, and that run they run through that all day. You know what I mean, until it's all gone. Jag looked like she used to drink a beer called Crazy Horse. Do y'all remember oh, no. Crazy Horse? Right, nah, Crazy Horse, bro. That used, bro. That used she looked like people. she drank Still Reserve. They used to have people running wild. Yeah. I trust me, I've drunk it a few times back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, that joint had you running, running crazy. You know what Don't I mean? Jag look like she would be drinking crazy horse? Feeling invincible. Now nah, Jag look more to... like she looked more like still reserve. Oh, you think she's more still reserved? Yeah, she more can yeah, she more cans of still reserve, bro. Nah, nah, a couple crazy nights she would have did some crazy horse. Probably not. All the time, but yeah, yeah, if a nigga, yeah, still if a, reserved. If a, if a nigga they made a, if a nigga drink, but, drink uh, crazy it. horse every once in a while. If if a nigga that she was messing with said, "Yeah, we got some crazy horse tonight," yeah, she'd probably drink it. But she when boy, she in one of her, uh, when she in one of her last relationships, it's probably Colt forty five. She probably switched to Colt forty five. Damn, she no damn her, sense, bro. She in her last relationship, she probably got different bags. Hey. You know, there's different characters. Jag got different characters, and each character got a different taste. Auntie. Auntie. You know what I mean? Her characters got different tastes. Different tastes, dif different tastes in alcohol, different tastes in drugs, different tastes but in sex, different this, tastes. It's different, different this characters is a, um, she got. This is a result of ripping and running. Um, You're not slowing down. This is a prime example of ripping and running, constantly on the go. And not getting no sleep. This is it right here. She's a test subject right now. This is it. No, seriously. I like we're actually this is like education. We're just showing you how your life can decline when you don't deal with your demons. Mm -hmm. And you display it for the whole world on the internet to see. Um, it will age you 10 to 20 years. It will age you 10 to 20 years. Thanks, um, uh, T. Adams at Curry Brothers in Full Effect. Appreciate the super chat. I mean, we're approaching this from an educational standpoint, y'all. Like, we're actually approaching... Like, we're not doctors or nothing, so we're not saying... You know what I mean? We ain't MDs or nothing. We ain't got... You know what I mean? But we actually approaching this like psychologist almost. Because she needs Man, help. Yeah, look old as shit, she, bro. She got a lot to deal with inside, and it's aging her. And you know when you got a lot to deal with inside a lot of activities come with that drug usage lots of sex you know a lot of things come with trying that. to fill up some, some type of void trying to fill some type of void and right. then your relationships are all dysfunctional all right now they didn't got her channels up out of here yeah yeah she ain't been on youtube so i mean she still i think she still got like one channel that that she, you know what I mean? But I don't think she can go live on that John. She I think she just need to put this YouTube down for a minute and get some goddamn sleep. Hey, what you chasing? Like but it ain't, not, even, she it just, ain't even enough. She just want the ain't. attention and the and the thing because I, I don't think she really even want money. Nah, she like, don't want what do no you money, think bro? that she want? Just attention, right? Attention. It has to be just attention. Because any any every time when she's put in a position to make some real money, she intentionally sabotages. Intentional. She does it intentionally. As soon as she's in a position to make some real money, she sabotages. And she get plenty of opportunities. Like the universe want to give her something. Like the most high want to give right. her something. But right. she's just, she's just self sabotage. Right. Say that again, bro. I think that money over people's head. The universe want to look out for her. Yeah. You don't want to look out for herself first. Right. Like, it ain't, yeah. Bro, she keep yeah. getting it. She Most high ain't going to help you unless you help that yourself can benefit first. her. Right. And she always self-sabotage. That's crazy to me. And she says she likes, she's enjoy seeing people, other people in pain. That's because she, she that's wicked, pain, bro. That's because hey. she's not dealing with her own pain. This is all, it's all misguided. Right. 
It's a damn shame, bro. Misplaced hatred. Misplaced hatred. Right. This is a damn shame, bro. Like, we ain't even playing and joking around with this, bro. Nah, like, this ain't. You know I mean, yeah, I know, right? Like, so this after I see it, petty when joking I, live, but yeah, like, bro, I'm starting to feel bad. You know what I mean? When I, bad when I see, like this. when this I seen this, you gotta deal with these demons, man. When I seen this and people were sending this to me, I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, Jack, Jack you gotta go get some help, man. Agent, agent, fast as hell. She got, Jack, you got, this is serious. You gotta go get some help, man. You can't keep living like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. This ain't good. This ain't good. Who cares how it looks on the outside? It's all about what's going on in the inside of you. You right. need to be dealing with that. Who cares what we even think at this point? She just right. needs some real help. Let's just be real, bro. This is getting out of hand. I mean, no way you can keep uh, an individual can keep going on like this for too long. Mm -mm. Living off of all that hatred. All that self-hatred and just, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. radiating out. Like, no way you can keep going on like that. That's why I, we ain't going to sit up here and say that we hate Jag. We don't hate Jag at all. Man, Jag know we don't hate her, bro. She know that. Nope. All the love we didn't show Jack, she know we ain't, ain't no hate. Yeah, so we ain't yeah, we are, we ain't gonna yeah, we might roast you, roast yeah, you a little clown. We will roast. We will get roasted up on this. And she know that. She she met us roasting her and Goomba. That's right. how they met. That's how they we, we met. They, you know what I mean? We was roasting them, doing roasting them through the cartoons, and you know what I'm saying. But she roasted her damn self too much now. It, we can't even roast her no more. She just roasted right. herself from the inside out at, at this point. Yeah, Bro, we don't need to do no more roasting. Uh, she damn near cooked. She damn near just stick a fork. Like, I don't need to do no more roast. Oh, the not saying she's uh she not on the internet and she uh decided to take a break. Good. I hope she gets some sleep. Get some do good not sleep. her spokesperson now. <laughs> He's taking her calls. Do not taking her calls, y'all. So y'all got any questions about Jack? Yeah, just ask him. Get up, though, not yeah, because he's he's taking her calls for. Her. Oh, man, yeah, she need to get some sleep, bro. Yeah, she definitely need to get some sleep. Yeah, she need to get some sleep. I'm tell you the truth, a, a lot of us need to get some damn sleep. These devices yeah. be having niggas up. Yeah, they do. Yeah, y'all don't realize these drones are unhealthy. Having nah, but she be, devices in your face all all day she, and night. But she be going extra, doing like extra stuff and ripping and running, right. bro. Right. Ripping and Everybody running. Everybody needs sleep, right. man. Jag she ripping and running like big thing right now. And you, and you ain't even getting no bread off that, and you doing all that ripping and running, and ain't even getting no bread. Right. At least when you was in the industry, you was getting a check to do all that ripping and running. You ain't even getting no check to do all that. Right. I'm. Bro, I, you gotta understand, it's past money with her. I know she's that. Not even mentally, I, you gotta I know think that. about it. She's not even mentally stable to even handle money. Think about it. So the last thing that Jag should be worried about is money. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think she cares about money at all. She says she don't. She's just out here trying to fill a void, and she's running out here trying to deliver all the pain that she feels inside. And, oh, put it on everybody, everybody that's else. around her. Right. She's she's in a mode of delivering the pain that she feels inside. She said, That's what uh, Mike Tyson said. That's what made him a great boxer. He was delivering the pain that he felt inside to his opponents. That's how that's how he said he became the champ. He was just ripping them down when he was in his prime. That he just kept thinking about all the pain he went through in his life, and that's what just basically he was taking that pain out on his opponents. Just misplaced, misplaced emotions, misplaced I'm gonna be aggression, honest. and misplaced I'm be, hatred. I'm going to be honest, though, not. She only off the internet because she can't go live. On, on YouTube, trust me, she'd be on this, John, if she can go live, bro. Right. She ain't chilling just to be chilling. She can't go live. She can't press that live button. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be honest. What's up, OG Patrice? Like I said, Jag is like a case study right now. All right. 
Shout out to the OG in the building. She know Jag better than any of us know. Uh, yeah, I mean, she been in close proximity with Jag. You know what I mean? So, yeah, OG, you Man. see her. You see Jag aging, aging, aging crazy out here, bro. Like she, she aging fast as hell. These pictures, bro. This is like pictures from last year compared to this year, bro. Like. That look crazy to me, bro. That's crazy, bro. I said she ain't off the internet. She just posted some shorts. Right. Hey, see? She ain't gonna put the internet down, bro. I don't know why people believe that. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, she ain't. Just get some rest, uh, Jack, man. We want nothing but the best for you, man. I mean, we still ain't dealing with your ass, but we want the best for you, man. I don't want you. I don't want you to go out like that. You know what I mean, to be the end of your chapter or some on some uh on some uh YouTube shit, bro. Like that can't be the end. Of, YouTube can't be the end of your chapter. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Would you say, uh, Melanie? <laughs> Let me. Oh, let me hold on. Let me post this John real quick. Melody said, uh, Curry Bros are stand up guys, they better than me. Nah, it's just that when you start seeing, she, like, man, like, she looked bad out here, bro. Like, that shit looked crazy to me, bro. I mean, like, that shit looked crazy to me. We do our pettiness in moderation. We, we got, we, we get real petty up here, man. We, yeah. we, we do it in moderation though. We try to we try to stay balanced with it. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Ming. Shout out to our other mod. Ming Ming Ming. Shout out to Ming Ming Ming. Thank you for the uh members three been member three months. You know what I mean? You like that Shmalian movie old. When they was on that huh? island and they just be on that that island, that Shamalian night movie. That movie called Old. Uh, oh, the he movie called Old. The island and she, yeah, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. part of the island with Asian Island, it got old. Turned the yep. kids into, into old folks. Yeah, right. It was turning yeah, the kids into, into uh freaking old folks. Yeah. Like, damn, Jack must have stumbled over there real quick. <laughs> Would you say <laughs> Melanie says so felony face? Yo, you stupid, Melanie. That's what Jag be calling Melanie felony face. Flying monkeys. Flying monkeys. She cracked up with that flying flying monkeys. Hey. Yeah, the blade cut. Oh, yeah, I it did the blade, is. John. Let me pull that up. Right. Oh, let me pull the blade, John, up real quick. I don't quick. understand it. Who did that? I still think she did that, bro. Nah, she said her barber cut that. Yeah, she, I guess she, he was she trying like back some... back. She I must have trying back to the Fetty Barber she was talking about. <laughs> I think she's talking about like some new design he was trying out or something like experimenting or something. I don't know, bro. Then it crazy to me, bro. He effed her head up. What you need to do, boycott that barber that, that fucked barber up your, that head. your head. Right. Coming around mugging with sweet dick Willie. <laughs> All right, there you go. Got that blade John going on. Right. And I had to hit y'all with the blade, with the blade. We had to hit y'all with the blade. Cartoon. Thanks for calling Night and Day Laboratories. Just nurse did, daddy. How may I help you? Really, ma? Let me start that. Thanks for. Yeah, with a blade, don't go. That's all that's bad. Man, Thanks for calling, on, bro. Thanks for. I don't know what the hell just went on. Hey. Blade. Ready to die. I was born, Betty, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I like that. Kill it. Wait! I owe you, man. I don't know which one to use to kill you with. Walker. 
daywalker. Is that him? Is that her? It's the daywalker. It's the daywalker. It's the Jack. It's the daywalker. Jack the daywalker. Jack the day and night walker. Right. Hey, the day the and night, night day walk. walk. She the night and day walk. Make sure y'all hit right. that like button too, y'all. Hit smash that like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Facts. Yeah, Jag, get, get some goddamn sleep. Why you wouldn't subscribe to this channel yet? What the hell? Get your ass some sleep. Stop messing around with our head. Get your some like. detox. Detox. Get you some detox too. It we might just bring bump down too. Right. <laughs> bump J. Oh, get them bump jays. It'll it, it, it take care of them bump jays. <laughs> oh, oh, no more Dollar Tree. No more Dollar Tree. Big, uh, big homie sip pettier than us. When that information he dropped last night with the dingleberries and all that, bro, that was crazy. Why, me, bro, bro he, how could they, they? They dealt with that though. Yeah, yeah. They dealt with it. The one, the first one with the the Dollar Tree bag over the bumps. Now this one with dangleberries. Dangleberries, bro. Dangleberries, bro. Still still went through with it. Still stayed there. If I see one dangleberry, I'm out the door. Nah, he said he made a soak in the tub and all that. Nah, bro. Uh, That that man desperate. One dangleberry, you (laughs) nigga ghost after one dangleberry, you niggas ghost. Dangleberry, yeah. (laughs) What the hell? I ain't sticking around for no crunch berries, bro. No Captain Crunch Berries. I'm out. What the hell's going on out here? These are crazy, bro. I, I, that's that's crazy, more information bro. that could have been kept to himself. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. He could have kept that to himself, bro. Because you, you was you was tossing that up. And then you had the, the first one with the Dollar Tree bag. Like, you... You yeah. went near the bumps with a dollar. You thought the Dollar Tree bag protected you. Now you got chemicals from the bag and Bumpy J. Yeah, no, on, no crunch <laughs> berries, bro. No crunch berries. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got, yeah, you know I mean, cocoa, no cocoa, cocoa puff. Cocoa, cocoa puff, puff butt. butt. Cocoa puff butt. Cocoa puff butt. <laughs> cocoa, cocoa puff, puff shit. shit. <laughs> hey, cocoa puff shit. Right. Coco Puff shit. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You wasn't out the door when you seen the Coco Puffs? Nah, she was at his crib. They went out the door. You mean, yeah, I ain't put her out, no, the, his put her ass out yeah, the door. No, her ass out the door. Yeah, out yeah. the door. Nigga, just out the door. I don't give a fuck. How, how, how far you set, flew? Set I, don't care how, I don't care how far like, you flew. Your ass geez. getting back on that plane Coco and getting the hell up out of here. One dingleberry, bro, and you you back on that plane and getting the hell up out of here. Yo, it's a done deal, bro. I, I, that one he kept, niggas could have kept that to themselves. One thing, but Jag be saying stuff though. Jag be trying to embarrass niggas and saying stuff they, too. They could have kept that to themselves. Yeah, so that that be making niggas go extra a whole extra mile out here because she be going a whole extra mile. Now she aging too damn fast. I don't think she need to be doing anything at this point, bro. She shouldn't be saying nothing to nobody at this point. Because she's in a fast lane. When you live a fast fast life, bro, when you live a fast life, you age faster. You know what I'm saying? All that ripping and running. Right. Right. One dingleberry, bro. That's all it takes is one dingleberry, bro. You you know what I mean? I might leave my own goddamn house and take a walk or something. You know what I mean? Because seeing the damn dingleberry. Yeah, she's too old for that. Hey. Too Stop old a for that, man. Stop a mo, you know, ass poop butt. She too. She way too grown. Stop to a mo. Some goddamn dingle, dingleberries. Stop a mo, you know, ass poop butt. Anybody butt. grown with dingleberries, man, you you, you a loser. <laughs> a loser. Slack. Slacker. A loser, the slacker of the week. One goddamn dingleberry, bro. That's a wreck. Yeah, that's a done deal, bro. Dingleberry, that's a done deal. Crunchberries, dingleberry, cocoa, cocoa puffs. puffs. Cocoa puffs. None, of that shit, none of that shit, bro. 
Yeah, none of that. On type of diaper rash on the, on the bump. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, nah. bumps, pumps in the bumps and cocoa puffs. Ah man, it's making with that damn shit, bro. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Somebody said I can't afford that no dingleberries. <laughs> Sam, Sam, I can't afford that no damn dingleberries. Hell no. Nah. Triple D, dingleberry deal breaker, right? Dingle, the dingleberry deal breaker. There you go. Or oh, DDB. Yep, yep, DDB. Yeah, I'm good with that, bro. I'm good with that story. Like, niggas don't... Yo, keep that to yourself, bro. Like... Because you got to think about it. Yo, you dated. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, right. You was laid up with the dingleberry, so you got to think about this. From that standpoint, like, how you look right now, just talking about it. Like, you you was there, bro. You was up, all up in the... All up in the Cocoa Puff. All up in the uh, cereal milk. <laughs> cocoa up. Puff shit. Right. All up in that cereal milk, chocolate cereal milk. You know cocoa. <laughs> God damn, cocoa Yo. pop shit. I don't cocoa know what's pebbles. going on out here, bro. He... Cocoa pebbles, cocoa puffs. Like, Yo, you didn't watch any like you ain't watch nothing that she was doing on the internet. Nah. You bring that into your life and into your household. Bro. Nah, I ain't see it. He said he ain't see none of that shit, bro. He ain't seen none of it. Nah, he ain't seen all that shit from before. Oh, he ain't even know yeah, who she, she was. He ain't even know who she was, bro. She should be tested like a sickness. Yeah, man. At this point. Yeah, bro ain't bro, bro ain't know who he she was. was. Right next to the cocoa man. puff. He was going cuckoo for cocoa puffs, man. Crazy, bro. This is going cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to the uh, cartoon channel, man. We're gonna be dropping more yeah. content there. Yeah, you know I mean, we actually dropping content on all three of our channels: the Night and Day Metaphysics channel. Yeah, you know I mean, if y'all want to get some knowledge, y'all, you know, get some info information. Rumble and Metaphysics channel, and we dropping our, our, you know, our content, content, you know, the cartoons, the stuff that took hard work to put in. It's going on that channel, the night and day cartoon channel. Matter of fact, let me pull that up real quick. Y'all go ahead and get into that, man. Y'all niggas gotta come subscribe, bro. Chocolate now, chip ass, right? Putting that working over here. Y'all gotta come subscribe, man. So we about to drop some real work. We were uploading our power. We did a whole power series, a whole good times cartoon series, all that, man. All of us going back up on here. She got the generic. all our parodies. All our parodies, everything going back up. You know what I mean? On the, she got the, the chocolatey food. rice, the uh generic uh cocoa pebbles and shit. Yeah, she got the chocolatey on. rice in the ass and shit. So we taking all the cartoons off this channel, y'all. The Jaguar car cartoon series, the Diddy cartoon series, all the cartoons that was on this on night they talk media is getting deleted and going and being put over there. So y'all niggas better go subscribe over there if y'all want to see some funny shit, some real, right. some real content, bro. I mean, facts. Please drop that. Pre appreciate you, Melanie Jones. She's dropping the link in the uh in the chat, man. Make sure y'all, Melanie, make sure you drop your your uh link to your channel too, so they can go over there and subscribe to your channel. Cause Melanie, she she funny as hell over there too. She be doing some uh some comical shit over there. She got the Jaguar hotline going on over there. Hotline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, they, yeah, they seen ours four, six years ago on YouTube. Cause we Man. had hundreds of thousands of views on our Good Times uh parody uh show, and they got the idea from us. We could tell it's not the same show, but it wasn't in the media about anybody doing any Good Times cartoon. Or, well, first they did the ABC John, yeah. and they stole the way we promoted our uh, Hood Times. Right. They With stole the way we promoted right. it through the old school TV because they seen us promoting it on on uh on IG. Yeah, Even we was running ads came through. Yeah, Tiffany Haddish. Like yeah, Tiffany Haddish. That like her John. Yeah, Bernard that Stannis, the one that actually right. played Thelma from Good Time. Y'all see, right. John Amos gave us the shout out. You know what I'm saying? 
And this was before uh, the Jill- ABC. This um, was Jaleel, the ABC put that John out, y'all. Jaleel White came through and watched our seen our John. I'm talking about the one that played Steve. Yeah, Urkel. they know that was some. Well, it's a lot of celebrities that came. Even Overbrook, Will Smith Company, Overbrook gave us a shout out. Like they was, right. you know what I mean, because they from Philly, they know we from Philly, so they, yeah, you know I mean, just us to see us put in that type of work with an independent TV show with no financial backing, no internet. I mean, no uh, co-sign from a celebrity, no, no financial backing from the industry, and we still putting our work just as much as they put out work. You know what I'm saying? Full episodes, like 20 minute, 30 minute episodes, bro. No financial right. backing, no Hollywood, no co signs, none of that. Right. Yeah, man. We ain't all over the blogs and the media. Well, he was all over the media for mess though. We we get financial backing from when the when the curry gang support our shops. The curry gang. That's our only that's our only right. financial backing. Right. When we get when we delivering them high quality products to y'all. Facts. Yeah, I mean, like, which means we could keep telling y'all the truth, because you know most of these people out here who, who claim they telling y'all the truth, they controlled by uh, brands. Think about it. A lot of these companies, a lot of these uh, celebrities, a lot of these influencers, they controlled by brands. That's that's much bigger than them. We seen that example with Diddy. Diddy tried to, yeah, you know I mean, he forgot that he was controlled by the, yeah, you know I mean, and did what he did. Next thing you know, Diageo <laughs> made that nigga go bye bye real quick. He lost everything, every deal that that was on the table, taken, boom. Image destroyed. Friends don't even mention them. You don't even friends ain't defending them. No, everybody turned their back. Tell you the truth, Diddy is like Winthorpe. He like Winthorpe. And then you got the other extreme on the other hand, Jag. She just destroys all her relationships. And blacklist herself. All right. Yeah, man. This is crazy. There's some crazy stuff that's going on out here, man. Shit, if y'all niggas support enough, we turn all this into a uh, an animated series. Yeah, but I think somebody somebody said gave us a good idea to do a GoFundMe to fund fund the project, like like because we could do a whole um. We could do the whole Jaguar Rice series again, but the all the up to date Jones, like the mayor office, the police station, the airplane. Yeah, we could read. Right. Dude, we could do all that, but I mean, like it got that shit too time consuming. It, it's got to be very, worked very, out. Right. That's why we said we need y'all support. Well, we, we might have to set up. We might. Y'all. Somebody gave us a good idea to set up a GoFundMe and let and let the fan and let it be like a fan funded, a real fan funded project. Right. Yeah, that's what we do. We'd rather do that because we ain't got the time to uh, work on these projects anymore. Nah, we would need we other businesses. Y'all see, we right. got other businesses and all that, so we can't afford to be just sitting down and doing this cartoon, writing the script, record. You know what I mean? Doing the, the voiceovers and right. you know what I mean, editing, creating the characters, and you know what I mean, it's a right. lot of work into that, bro. Yeah, we that's why. That's why. That's why Hollywood kind of um. That's why Hollywood kind of stepped back from the animation. Like Pixar ain't popping like it used to, like that. Mm-hmm. It's too time consuming, bro. And then it ain't recouping the bread back. They're not recouping the money back. And it's too time consuming, bro. Facts. This the age of ratchetness. People want to see ratchet. Met, can say it ratchet. Again? Mess age. Not message. Mess age. Right. That's what we living in. Mess age not message right well the message is the mess age i mean people don't care about talent they want the mess they want you to go live they want you to act wild act crazy roast, right. drag yeah 
You know what I mean? All that. That's that's what is that's what the, the age we in now. The mess age, man. I mean, our cartoons be messy as shit, though. So we, y'all know. But, but it's not cartoons. like the reality TV mess, though. Right. You still right, ain't. Right, right. Still don't. Yeah, you know I mean, people like to see it from actual real bodies and people really getting hauled off the jail. People really getting beat up, hurt. Whatever the hell is going on out here, that's what people want to see. All right. <laughs> Let's be real. All right. Toxic. Niggas is toxic as hell out here, man. Niggas is toxic as hell. We got the gummies back on the site. I know y'all like know about it. For your like, too. Y'all been wait, y'all been waiting on these gummies. So definitely make sure y'all go over there and you still get 25% off. So make sure y'all head over there and get these. You know what I mean? That's a limited supply, so y'all better limited. get them because I'm joking. Limited. Yeah, they sell out quick. Limited supply. We're working on the cookies and brownies, so make sure y'all look out for that. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. a, it's a lot of it's a lot of distractions going on. I think Diddy, Diddy, so, I think Diddy's a big uh, distraction. To be honest with you, the biggest, no Diddy, right? Yeah, he's a big so, distraction. Cause you gotta think about it, nothing. Like I like we said before, nothing came out. Nothing really came about all those raids. Hey, what what came about? Nothing. Look like, yep. It just looked like a a, a stage play. Right. Make sure y'all get y'all some soap, some body oils too. Stock up on the herbal yeah, we, soap. We back stocked up, y'all. I mean, we got different kinds. I mean, different different kinds. Make sure y'all stock up on the soaps, of natural soaps, of body oils as well. Shipments yeah, is going out. That's another five star product. Yep. Y'all can read the reviews. Shipments is going out. You know I mean, y'all come down and read all the reviews. Get that silky smooth. Cocoa butter skin. Hey, y'all can get the night and day body uh butter too. Right. You know I mean, nothing but natural ingredients, man. We don't mess around with the synthetics and the poisons, I'm man. Trying to tell you, we don't mess around with that. Silky so smooth all, cocoa butter skin, with no ingredients. chemicals. Make sure y'all head over to the Amazon joint too. We got all natural cookware on here. Yeah, this is yep. the stuff that we use in our households because we being poisoned through everything. A lot of yep. We got we got um air air purifiers, right? Filters for your shower. Yeah. Definitely put filters on y'all shower heads, man, and on y'all sinks, man. Get y'all some air purifiers for y'all for your uh living rooms and get y'all some air purifiers for your uh children's rooms and all that, man. But we already know we seen what happened with we seen what happened last year when all that smoke and shit was in the air. Y'all think it just disappeared? Y'all think all that stuff just disappeared because you don't see it no more? Nah, that's just still people having problems, people having uh digestive problems, stomach problems, right? People headaches all the time. Fact. Yeah, I mean, people have uh, what is it, blurred vision. Some people got blurred vision and, and and brain fog. Fact. Got books on here. Yeah, like yeah, people. People, right, know man, what's people feeling it. Get that. Get that good literature. Facts. You know I mean, we got everybody book on here that hit us up to put their book on our shop. You know I mean, so come through and get you some good literature. Support these authors because it's we know it's hard to be an independent, um, you know, independent, uh, yeah. self, self, self publishing author. It's, you know yeah, it's hard out here. The people only support celebrities, man. <laughs> right, right. Like all the off, like all the top, most of the top authors, except for the ones who've been in the game for like decades, or yeah, you know I mean, all right. the, all the top authors are usually celebrities now. Like all, like most of them are celebrities or politicians or some shit like that, right? Like uh, it, it's it's hard. That's because the market is so flooded, right? Get y'all some air too. Got the earrings on here. You know what I'm saying? Different uh, different style earrings on here. 
African joints. You know what I mean? We got to start supporting our independent content creators and independent uh, mm -hmm. artists. Because we keep talking about the problem that's going on in the industry. But the, one of the mm -hmm. solutions is su supporting people who's doing it from the muscle rather than supporting just celebrity shit all the time and mainstream stuff all the time. Facts. Like, that's a solution. Like, I know a lot of people talk about the problem, but we, we actually bring solution. Like, we're making our company valuable to the people like we're bringing utility to the to the market we ain't just bring gotta bring value face. yeah we ain't just bringing a face like how the mainstream they put a face on there they put snoop dogg on something or, or beyonce on something and they sell it even if it's garbage you know what i'm saying right. and people buy it just because beyonce face is on, on the front of it yeah like you know and you and, and the industry is who we talking about is doing all the corrupt stuff all the casting couches and all the Weinstein and, and Epstein stuff, all that stuff. They can support in that when you support the mainstream artists and, and, and products. You support in that. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the problem. If you want to be part of the solution, start supporting people who's doing it from the muscle, who ain't connected to any of that. Thank you, you know Brandy. Saying? Brandy Foster said, I listen to y'all every single day. Appreciate that. Then brother Denzel said entrepreneur. I mean entrepreneur, businessman, self-business, partnership business. Yup, colleagues, LLC business. Yeah, right. Trademarks, LLCs, all that, man. You gotta brand yourself if you want to be I, if you want people to take you serious, you gotta take, you know, right. you gotta you gotta really brand yourself. You know what I mean? And um right. make sure all your Make sure all your uh, business is in order. Facts. I mean, shout out to the people we inspired, man. That you know get they get they stuff on the ball, get they stuff right. rolling, man. Um, and that's all we here to do: is inspire, 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 yep. inspire, inspire. And, and we we gotta inspire ourselves too. You gotta yeah. sometimes you gotta be your own biggest inspiration. And then I look at other, I, I study other people for inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Right. I respect Thanks. other people that's, that's doing the uh, the independent business. You know what I mean? So shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. We appreciate y'all coming through, man. Thanks. All right, Bully Hunters. Shout out to Bully Hunter for the uh, super chats at Alexis Isley and Rochelle Jordan. Are my favorite uh indies that's what's up yeah 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 uh, shout out to denitra gibson man she got a lot of books on our shop man y'all should support yes. her man. definitely go support denitra all right go Check support our them. amazon shop y'all pull that back up real quick support the authors over there man we work hard i know you got a book on hard there on our, right we work hard on our stuff man age of a new uh we put in a lot of work age. we put in a lot of work yeah come over here denitra got like four she got a oh, whole three point three part series on here but she put um, in that work uh lady lady d part one lady d part two lady d right. part three right and then she got another book on here hold on where is it at she uh she put in that work she put work in bro here the other one right here in the mind of me Yep, yeah. this is Isaiah book right here. Dawn of a New Age, Memoirs. Right. That's a sci. That's a sci-fi novel, and there ain't too many black sci-fi writers out here. And all the information's in this in this book right here. So y'all really want to know what's going on? This book is based off of all the patents that been put out there, or the technology that they that's either out now or the technology right. that's going to be in the future. So, right, it took it took this man a long time. To write this book so right i officially started that. writing it in 2007. right yeah crazy yeah yeah, that, yeah it's, it's it's a it's a lot of work that goes into all this we do man so we definitely appreciate everybody who's been supporting I mean, if you got a book if you got a book hit us up we'll put it on that we'll put it on here if you're an author and all that we'll put, the, we'll put your book on here I'm saying, 
Yeah, it's going to show you, they, you know what I mean? Yeah, we got a lot of celebrities, they get put in position. Yeah, if you go to our website, you know what I'm saying? We put in just as much work as they do. Yeah, if you go to our website. The, opp- the same opportunity that they got as far as having mainstream exposure. Because that's who the general population or the general masses support them because, you know, they put in mass marketing dollars for everything yeah, they email. do. Y'all can email us through the... Uh... Y'all can email us through the um join the email list. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can email us through the uh shop too. So uh yeah, man. We inspire people to yeah, if you're a YouTuber, sometimes you gotta take a past YouTube and start get operating outside of YouTube too. Get you some products, find a way to you know to 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 market yourself um if you got some type of skill that you can offer offer that to people man you know what i'm saying like melanie she do she do uh thumbnails so if you're an up and coming content creator and you need a nice hot thumbnail hit her up she she'll do your thumbnail for you man you know what i'm saying like you gotta have something going on more than just youtube Cause you can't depend on none of these platforms 100. You you can't. Y'all see, we just lost two big channels last year. One that had 250 thousand subscribers, and then another one that had 135 thousand subscribers. Channels right. gone, gone. But we were still able to maintain because we got email list subscribers. That's important. You gotta have an email. You gotta build your email list subscribers. Right. You know what I mean? Something outside of YouTube where you can still, you know what I mean, connect with your people outside of YouTube. If something was to happen, channel going something, you can have an email list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this uh this definitely ain't for the faint of heart. I tell you that. Being independent, man. I understand why the celebrities they get pampered. They get everything taken care of. They get teams, even though those teams is jam packed with agents reporting oh, back to, to the to the ones who's giving them the check. And it but, costs. But everything that they do is is catered. You know what I'm saying? When you independent, you gotta do everything yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You gotta find a team and y'all gotta be on the same page. And then it's, or you could do or you could single handedly do it. Mm-hmm. We got creators out here that's doing that, and they just might hire people here and there to help with something if they need it. Like it's, but it's it, uh, it, it ain't it. easy though because when you ain't got that connection to that celebrity or that major company or or that major brand, it, it's tough. It is doable though if you keep at it, but it's tough. You could be all the way up one day and all the way down the next. It ain't that steady flow like a regular nine to five joint or if you was with a, a major company or something. You you got huge contracts and whatnot. So it's definitely for the faint of heart. I tell you that. That's why we appreciate all the support because we put in a lot of work. Yeah, you know I mean, bring a lot of value. We be we be we be looking for celebrities to give us that, but I don't be seeing that. Them celebrities, like I'm thinking, like as far as with Diddy with that Ciroc and uh and Daily, how is that really value? That's not really add value to the community. Just more alcohol, like we got enough of that. Niggas need to be detoxing right now, not drinking more alcohol. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas right. should be detoxing, not drinking alcohol. We don't need no more alcohol brands. They gave a whole bunch of nigga alcohol brands. Now everybody, you know what I'm saying? Think about it. All the top dogs got alcohol brands. And I ain't knocking them niggas hustle because people out here want to drink. It's grown ass adults out here that want to drink that shit. So if they want to sell it and but it's grown like, ass it's, adults want to take their hard on, they hard on for paychecks. Now nah, you got some people that independent. Now nah, you got some people that's independent with their liquor. 
It's, it's a few of them that's independent, like E40. He's independent with his liquor. Of course, they got to get distribution because they don't have, I, I mean, they don't have the of, means. Nah, to get I don't think technically but, any of us are independent they, because the distributors can cut you off at any time. Hey, That's but I ain't knocking, I'm, not, I'm not knocking none of them niggas if they want to. Nah, I ain't knocking what they doing, them, but I'm just saying. Man. That's like it, it ain't them like that's not it they don't really that's not value to the community really it ain't hey it's value to the people that feel like it's value to them nah, it's value, to, it's they, value if they to feel like if that yeah if they cho- if they choose i'm talking about the consumers if the consumers feel like that alcohol is value value to them then that's I mean, their that's their mind and niggas their, that and see their the pattern tomorrow. know what i'm talking about like yeah. people saying in the chat is is we already got enough liquor stores and enough yeah, we alcohol do. Like, we, we don't need extra alcohol, but we definitely need extra things to detox us from all the toxicity that's in our food, water, and air. Shout out mm-hmm. to niggas like Styles P, man, who got the juice bar over there. That's, I yeah, feel like not, that's yeah, more yeah. value. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I ain't saying that it's right. everybody. Right. Yeah, the juice bars and they, they sell. Right. Like, so, I, I ain't saying that it's everybody, bro. That. Right. But I, I, all I'm saying is we don't need no more alcohol in our community. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we don't need no, no more, more alcohol. Bars and all that. We don't it's need it. it. I mean, yeah, I, I, think, I think that's a fair thing to say. All right. We got enough alcohol in society. We got enough brands to pick from. I'm just saying, man. All right. If y'all ain't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure y'all subscribe. I mean, hit that like button if you haven't. I mean, that's that's the way you can support as well. You can support free. You know I mean, just by you know watching the content, liking the content, sharing the content, or you could support us in the form of cash apps and and uh super chats, memberships, or you could just simply purchase from the shop. Get the- Thanks. Take advantage of that twenty five percent off on all CBD product. Get you a hoodie. Get you some uh, shea butter. Get you some. You know I mean, we're working on getting the hair care products and stuff back on here too, y'all. So, so y'all know we 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 full about to get fully stocked up. You know what I'm saying. So join the email list because when we send those email lists, uh, those um newsletters out to let y'all know that that um the products. That we put back on there to update and all that because y'all know everything is first come first serve so yeah man appreciate y'all for coming through shout out to y'all man um yeah we go i guess we'll catch y'all next live stream man hey, shit, we about it shout out to uh Thank melanie you man. Like appreciate Appreciate the mods for coming through, holding us down. Go subscribe to Melanie Jones' channel if you ain't subscribed over there yet. Hey, you over there killing it, man. She over there she putting over her work in. Right. And we watch this, you know what I mean? Go from a just a, a, a spectator in the chat to, you know what I mean, getting her own platform and it's growing. You know what I'm saying? So right. shout out to her for that, man. Shout out to... uh It's showing y'all it can be done. Anybody else that we, you know what I mean, expired to get the platform or whatever, man. It can be done. Shout out to Miss Cat. She be she be supporting us too and holding us down. Go subscribe to Miss Cat Miss Cat Medusa's uh productions channel. Y'all could go subscribe to her channel too. She be doing the uh you know the Monday, the Monday um get it off your chest Mondays and all that. You know I mean, so go go subscribe to that. You know I mean, yeah, respect to all the content creators, all, out all here. the contents, man. Right, right, yeah, respect to y'all because this is a hard, this is a hard ass job that we got. It ain't, it, it could be very it, rewarding it, if you, but it also could be a, the biggest pain, man. It could be a huge stressor in your life if you let it. Hell yeah, if you let it, right? You know what I'm saying, but yeah, man, shout out to y'all because uh, we all on the same road. And it's hard out here if you ain't if you ain't the rock or if you ain't you ain't Kevin Hart or somebody. <laughs> yeah, Melvin, you could put her um you could put Miss Cat's uh link in the um in the chat too. All right, man. We up out of here, man. It's oh, man. 
25% off. Make sure y'all take advantage of that CBD sale, man. We'll catch y'all on the next one. All right, y'all. We up out of here. Peace and love. Are Peace. Entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? In case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Zeolite is one of the most amazing minerals of our age. Millions of people have been using detoxification supplements to remove harmful toxins, pollutants, heavy toxic metals, as well as to balance pH levels, lower the risk of viruses like cold and flu, support the immune system, and improve nutrient absorption. What is zeolite? Zeolite is a volcanic ash that forms over time when ash and lava react with alkalized water, resulting in a compound with a very strong cage-like structure and a negative charge. Zeolite is one of the most fascinating and powerful nature remedies available. Great to detox and balance your body. Health benefits of detoxing. The removal of excess heavy metals can improve overall health. Detoxification helps balance a body's pH levels. This product provides 30 capsules, one month supply, ships within three days. Purchase now at night and daynetmarket.com.